if you've seen the down throw, ZSS basically goes into a coma when she does it. <laughs> but if you were a ZSS that relied on her pressure from movement, and her speed, and her potential to kill, she is still a very vile threat in this game. I feel like... But you that is not happening because <laughs> I try to hype up a character like ZSS and instead I get a top tier like Pokemon Trainer. Yo, man, that's like writing a 10-page essay on ZSS, but the professor told you, yo, man, a 10-page report on Pokemon Trainer. What, you, what are you talking about, man? Okay, I'm looking at his Twitter real quick. I, mean, <laughs> I, th I thought his Twitter was sponsored by ZSS for a second. Like, hold up, hold up. Hey, maybe, maybe he just he just decided to go Pokemon Trainer. We really don't know, man. But speaking of Pokemon Trainer, we do have one here in South Those of you wondering out of state, it is uh, Sweet Tea. He's in the Nintendo uh, Invitational. Oh, not the Invitational, the Nintendo. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but... Definitely made it as a Nintendo finalist. We will be seeing him at PAX East for the finals, but enough of that. Vladin 76% here against this Avasaur. Um, this is definitely a matchup that's pretty doable between both characters, I feel. Uh, Avasaur, like we said, we talked about earlier at MSM, right? He's good mid range, right? He's got those he's got those disjoints, he's got those combos, the edge guards, and I Squirtle, the DPS character, able to do a lot of damage per second. Mm -hmm. Very true, and of course the Charizard. Dis the disjoints uh, help out Ivysaur as well, and that Razor Leaf just to be able to pressure um, the Latin as well. Yeah, especially when he's at the ledge there, he's using that Razor Leaf. We do see Leffen do that, use a Razor Leaf to make slow approaches there, and then find the defensive option there and react to it. Wow, that was a very high Vine Web. I was surprised that actually connected. Alrighty, the dash dances. Trying to find like a Force Smash or something. Trying to find something to miss space. Not quite gonna happen. Fourth throw, take him off one more time. Nice. And the change. And Charizard, of course, very heavy. Gonna be able to survive those up airs. I feel like if it was Squirtle, I'm sure it would have been dead. Yeah. Be punished into the fair. It's kind of usually what people say about Charizard. He's kind of like the. Uh, people say Charizard's in this toolkit because he's the fan service character. Like, it's not a Pokemon game or movie without Charizard, so they put him in there and he just doesn't do much aside from Fire Blitz. But Ooh. I have a sword will definitely make up for it. Goes for the down throw into the Vine Whip at that angle. Yeah, the tipper on that Vine Whip so good to be able to get those ridiculous kills. And it was just so weird to look at because they just obliterate into the blast zone all <laughs> yeah. of a sudden. Squirtle having a hard time making their way in. Doesn't have the range. They have the speed, but I think this is in general a very difficult yeah. space for Squirtle to try and invade. You can see Vladis doing a very good job on their movement to try and get away from the throw combos. Yeah, and well, when I mentioned earlier, right, Squirtle has the DPS damage per second here, and he has the combos. But like we talked about the range here, and immediately Bankai immediately switching off the Ivers to get the range. That's where he has to face Lucina. Oh, the grab comes in. Okay, gonna get that off stage to play one more time. Vladin doesn't try for anything. I think trying to see a list of reaction, but it looks like Bankai is uh, content to just go low and yeah. just use the Vine Whip, does not try to jump high or anything like that. Nice, good cross. I like the fact that he actually just ran and got behind him, not even a cross up on him, so just sensing where uh, the fact that Bankai was gonna go for a normal landing. Yeah. Okay, trying to make their way in, landing up there. Not quite finding its mark, and Voladin is able to get that back and put him off stage one more time. Okay, nice. Lutra into the forward smash, trying to sense how Bonka was going to go from that ledge, using the platform instead. Grab into the back throw. Edge guard set up here. I like the fact that he uses the landing Lutra air because if you are able to land with it, the blast hit will still clip you. Alright, he uses that vine with to try and keep. Voladin away, but he's not falling for it. He just dashes away and dashes back in. He's like, okay, you still got to pick a ledge option, dude. Ooh. Oh, but a run off there. But he makes it back, actually. Wow. It's a neutral air and out of the shield. I like the fact that Voladin is actually angling his shield because he knows when, when a bunk guy's going to be coming from the ledge. He's going to be trying to hit him with up B, up air, forward air, and a forward smash, killing the dragon that is Charizard. Well, technically, a fire flying type. But Lance does have a Charizard on his team. Yeah. And he is the dragon dragon. And Charizard does get Mega Stone X that involves him to a Dragon Fire type. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised that Vlad didn't just counter fl Flare Blitz, but mm -hmm. you know what? The forward smash at the right time also works too. The Kahone is on that one. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he's still had a stock of the head, so yeah. that was part of it as well. All right, he's still sticking with the Pokemon Trainer, though. But I, I feel like a stock in this game, especially with the way that the neutral works and the dash dancing and all the mechanics, is kind of like the magic pixel when it comes to other fighters because you, you can have a whole stock, but if your opponent gets the momentum, the right reads, the right defensive plays here, he can catch up to you. So sometimes you're giving, saying I have a stock to left with, doesn't mean a lot sometimes. Yeah. 
Especially against certain opponents. Oh, withdraws off stage. Oh, that's potentially a big punish, but I think Valadin wasn't quite expecting the waterfall to come out. And there we go, withdraw, able to invade that space. And he got the up tilt pickup into a couple up airs. Nice, and I like the fact that Valadin goes for the normal Mutra air and angling the shield there. That's super important because he knows how withdraw works with Squirtle, trying to avoid getting shield pulled, but actually getting hit out overall in general. Yeah, and that's how exactly how you should punish withdraw. You don't challenge the move itself. You wait for it to hit your shield and you uh, react, to it. Re react to it with whatever option they pick out of withdraw. Very smart stuff. Jump fair, putting him off stage one more time. Oh, angling it again, able to get away from the forward. He saw that the shield was small, so the angled shield there was super crucial there. Uh, goes for the, I'm sorry, I almost said forward, sorry. Goes for the side B here, and swipes him all the way to the left side of the stage, landing neutral air and immediate down air out of the shield. He can't hit Charizard because of his big hurt box. Man. Lucina's out of shield options are just so good, dude. Yeah. You see those sweeping arcs is just such a good play and a neutral air ledge trap as well. Bankai losing the next dog. One thing that Bankai is actually not doing here is mixing his getup and punish. He's been getting caught by that neutral air from Lucina and that for a reason. And that's why Vlad is so content with going for that option at the ledge. So hopefully Bankai can start finding ways to understand if he's angling his shield at the ledge, I can't hit him with I have a sword for order, I can't hit him with Vine I have to hit him on different air. Yeah, oof. Bankai trying to zone out with the Razor Leaves, but that Smash Up platform actually helping Valadin get around him and potentially get that punish. Oh, and we got the Charizard back out. He went for a back air out of the shield there because he sensed that possibly that Bankai could have gone for a back air himself and he would have caught him out of that situation. <laughs> like, both players out of shield options. And I like the fact Valadin stops like, hey, we're just fighting each other out of shield options. So let, me, let me get something else instead. Yeah. Try to get that punish on that flare blitz too, but didn't quite find the right position for it. Excuse Fourth throw off stage. Excuse me, sir. An up throw would have been a much better option because if you would have caught Valadin on a possible DI mix up, or he, I think at that person actually would have killed with the platform. Design. Maybe he just wasn't sure, or maybe he was thinking about the control. It's one of those scenarios where in the game it's kind of difficult to, to remember everything because you're in the pressured situation. Yeah. Especially because Valadin has the lead and he's thinking, oh god, I gotta. Just do get, something. Get him out here. Yeah, I gotta do something, here. right? <laughs> <laughs> get him out of my face, man. I'm getting soft out here. I need to survive. Alright, nice. Neutral air. Great option under the shield there. Still having Bonkai a little bit disadvantaged. Gets the down throw into the up air. Pretty solid opportunity to go for another up air. And I like the fact that Valadin also stayed in place because he was aware of the Vine Whip. Oh, and the dancing blade. Yep. At a certain point, it's just going to be a kill move. Not quite as volatile as like the double edge dance from Roy, but still reliable at those higher percents. I feel like. They're definitely uh, the poor man's cross slash. Let me cross slash for sure. Because they're I, able to kill a lot. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought of in uh, Smash 4, but uh, a lot of people definitely flamed me and said that Dancing Blade is still a great option. So, But in this game, it's still great. I mean, look, he did like, what, 40 out of that 53% damage from Dancing Blade alone? Yeah, and you also kill out the ledge more consistently now. Yeah. Great back air. Okay, try to land with the back air of his own. You gotta be careful when you land with aerials there because you are committed to getting hit afterwards. This is that roll option. Valadin not ready for that one. Definitely showing signs that he's mixed up his recovery because every time he's getting hit by Valadin's new chair on the ledge, it's because he's been picking the same option. That one time where it mattered here, fix the world instead. Gets the switch into back air. Okay. Yo, man, you bet I'm blind at that situation there. And immediately the casino is closed. You cannot cash in your chips. Sir, come back tomorrow for another tournament. Dang, that was rough. I don't know if that Flare Blitz was just a guess or he meant to do that, but that was just unfortunate. Put him in a really bad spot. And uh, yeah, he just got countered on Fly, and Vladin will take it. Yeah, pretty good stuff from Vladin overall. Uh, reputation, of course, precedes him. Mm -hmm. All righty. Uh, the venue is starting to get a little bit more quiet. It, yeah. it's, it's always very crowded in the beginning, and then once people go 0-2, they got to go dilute their salt and uh, come back another day, stuff like that. And then, we, and then we are left with the grinders, man.